Yo yo, welcome back. Today we'll be looking at how to install Bruce, the beta version of the firmware for your LilyGo T Embed CC1101. A lot of you guys ordered these after I did the video showcasing this version of Flipper Zero. I appreciate those of you that uh, use the affiliate link that I posted. That means a lot to me and that helps this channel out to buy more fun gear like this LilyGo T Embed right here. So to get into this, we are going to go to the desktop and we're gonna to go to bruce.computer slash flasher. And all these links will be in the description below for you to follow along. And what you're gonna to wanna to do though, over here on the actual T embed unit, you're gonna to want to go ahead and pop that battery cover off. Remember that is just magnetized on there. Go ahead and pop that off. And we're gonna go ahead and just disconnect the battery that came with it because I found that if you don't do that, the unit is gonna power cycle itself with the USB-C cable in there and it'll keep failing on your desktop. So we're gonna unplug this for now and we're gonna to go to the web page here. Uh, there is no latest release yet. Uh, I just got done pretty much messaging uh, Pirata back and forth for the past uh, about an hour now and uh, kind of figuring some things out. So he, he helped me out a lot getting all this ready to go. So the beta release is up and running as of today being 11-7-2024 at 7.38 Mountain Time. Uh, with that being said, you're gonna click on beta, you're gonna go to LilyGo Devices, you're gonna click on the LilyGo T Embed CC1101, and we are gonna go to Connect. Now, when your menu pops up over here, uh, you're not gonna see your unit until you hold down the boot button. I did learn uh, after I posted my last video that there are a few hidden buttons in the unit itself. If we take a look in here, right below that magnet, right there on the, on, to the left of that magnet, between the SD card, you can see a little bitty button right there. That is a power cycle button. If the unit is off and you can't get it turned on, go ahead and pop that cover off, pull the battery out with while it's connected, of course, and then power cycle it. On this side, you can see underneath the magnet right there to the left again, you can see another little button. That is the reset button way in there and right next to that little antenna mount right there. So that's a reset button. We won't be using those two today, but we will be using this button right here. That is your boot button right there in the center, right in the center of your encoder dial. So to get that connected, we're gonna hold down that boot button. We're gonna plug in our USB-C and then on our desktop, we should see USB JTAG slash serial. We're gonna click on that guy, we're gonna click on connect, and then you can see that it is connecting, and then we are gonna install ESP32 S3 dev kit dash one. And we're gonna to go to install. And if we did everything right, it should say erasing, and here in about 30 to seconds to one minute, you will have the beta version of Bruce installed on your T embed CC1101. All right, now that that is done, we're gonna just hit next on our computer and then on the unit itself, we can actually just go ahead in here and we're gonna hit that little reset button right there, flip the unit over and then there you have it. We are now running Bruce on the T Embed CC1101 and everything seems to be running as it should. I have not gone in here yet and tested out all the features as far as RFID, IR, FM, but I will be uh, doing a further deep dive as in the coming days, if not week, uh, of all the features that this thing entails. Being done, we can then unplug it. We can go ahead and pop back in our battery and pop the cover on, we are up and running. That is how to install Bruce on the LilyGo T Embed CC1101, and all the links will be in the description below. One more thing, guys, go ahead and go to Pirata's YouTube channel down below. Give him a like and a subscribe because he's helped us out a ton with this whole project. He's been the, the main contact for me to get all this stuff going and a, a huge help. But again, uh, hit the link in the description below for his uh, YouTube channel and check out his uh, GitHub as well. So thanks again, guys, and I will see you guys in the next video.